Coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. She's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jiu-jitsu. I don't want to kickbox and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. So here she is, one of the more prolific kickboxers to cross into the UFC in some time. She might kick harder than you, bro. Oh, yeah, she does kick so hard. And I mean, you look at the videos. The videos are all out there. And you watch this young lady landing these brutal leg kicks on the bag, landing the high kicks, the body kicks. It's, it's unreal to watch someone of this stature able to land and be as physical as she is. She's so aggressive in her approach. She's so comfortable in such tight confines that her opponents usually panic because they can't understand, as we can, how she could be okay when she's under duress as she is. I asked her to kick me in the leg at our fighter meeting on Thursday, and as you see, I'm still limping. So she packs some power, and her opponent better be ready for it here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, bulletproof. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of five wins, no losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Brown! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. Well, her last win by knockout will be a tough act to follow as round one gets underway here. She really busted onto the radar of UFC fans by knocking out her last opponent. So now with momentum and the winning streak in tow, she will try to do it again. Got to get a win here, and certainly a finish would be useful as well. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Couple of chins here being tested early. Nice punch by Brown. Able to check that kick as well. What a great job by her there to double up on the jab and really giving her opponent a lot to think about on the feet. Tonight. She's having trouble processing everything that's coming at her, and she's beating her with a basic, basic jab, but they're very oh. nice. Well, she's up, but she looks hurt. Brown gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice leg kick. Beautiful punch. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see why. You see all she learned from her background in boxing. Scrambled eggs. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Oh! Oh! You can never know 
What you're gonna see with this young lady, is she gonna finish the fight? Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nah, she misses with the left punch there. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. Tom. Brown gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Her opponent in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to. Can't take many of those. You better check. Well, she's got nothing left in the tank, and there's another just huge whiff. Forgettable effort, at least in terms of the cardio, I think, tonight. Yes, yeah, she's done. She's so tired that she's throwing for the head, but the head's never going to be where you anticipate especially when you're exhausted. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to oh. finish the fight. Oh! What a round. Just the way she drew it up, she had her focus on the knockout, and that's exactly the way this fight ends. I'm not even sure the opponent saw the shot coming. They oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate, and that certainly spelled her fate here tonight. And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop for this contest at 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brown! Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks, and this is a massive moment for her.
All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. All right, so here she is, one of the more prolific kickboxers to cross into the UFC in some time. She might kick harder than you, bro. Oh, yeah, she does kick so hard. I mean, you look at the videos. The videos are all out there. And you watch this young lady landing these brutal leg kicks on the bag, landing the high kicks, the body kicks. It's, it's unreal to watch someone of this stature able to land and be as physical as she is. She's so aggressive in her approach. She's so comfortable in such tight confines that her opponents usually panic because they can't understand, as we can't, how she could be okay when she's under duress as she is. I asked her to kick me in the leg at our fighter meeting on Thursday, and as you see, I'm still limping. So she packs some power, and her opponent better be ready for it here tonight. All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight. It's always so clean. And then outside leg kick, every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she is putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, downtown. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, holding a professional record of six wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Brown! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Round one is underway, and she is as devastating a knockout threat as this division has ever seen. If you want proof, how about the recent highlight reel? Three straight wins, all of them by flush knockout. We'll see if she can keep it going here tonight. Punch over the top. Ooh, what a head kick. How good a job does she do defensively to protect that head, raise the guard? A lot of good things in there. I think she heard. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh, oh, those are those, oh! Nice punch there by Brown. Oh, wow! Head kick! Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. And here once more, Bruce Ladies Buffett. and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 26 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brown! Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her and her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by now. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, 
I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC Women's Bantamweight Division matchup. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division, a true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter, a fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym, and in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle, I don't want to do jujitsu, I don't want to kickbox and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Well, she's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials, and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything gifted to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker, so try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Ladies Buffett. and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 19 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, right time. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Brown. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? So here she is, ready to go for round number one. This is not the fight during which to get up and go grab a cold one. How about the highlight reel that this woman has put together over her last several wins? The majority of them coming by flush knock. Oh, you can never know 
Yeah. But you're gonna see with this young lady, is she gonna finish the fight? So both girls landing right out of the shoot. Oh, wow! Head kick. Up a nice entry into the finish correct. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, she's hurt, yep. Oh, she lands the punch there, really using her reach advantage in this one thus far. Just out of range with the big right hand. I mean, that right hand landed square. Now she landed a flush knee right there, DC, making... Oh, she smacked the legs! I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Yo! Wow! That was nasty! What a fight! I'm not sure she could have drawn it up much better. Just a beautiful strike to end the fight for her opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that flush shot coming. So this is exactly the way she drew it up. She told us during fight week that she had to find a way to finish this fight to send a message to the rest of this division. Message sent. And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 32 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks in this is a massive moment for it.